Amides are very nearly at the bottom of the reactivity ladder when it comes to carboxylic acid derivatives. The only things below them are carboxylic acids and carboxylates. And we can then, in theory at least, convert an amide into a carboxylic acid through nucleophilic acyl substitution. However, it takes extremely harsh conditions to do this, and it's not a catalytic process. So an amide, for example, just to kind of ground this discussion in something real, the cleavage of amides in polypeptides is something we're often interested in, breaking up a protein or polypeptide into its constituent amino acids. This takes extremely strong acid to do, something like 6 molar HCl, aqueous HCl, of course, we're going to need the water to actually run the reaction, at elevated temperatures over multiple hours gives the carboxylic acid and the ammonium. The reason this is not catalytic in acid is because the acid protonates the amine leaving group in this reaction. So it's possible to hydrolyze an amide under acidic conditions, but it's not catalytic. It does, however, provide us with a way to synthesize carboxylic acids from amides, and we're going to take advantage of this reaction in later discussions of the chemistry of proteins, polypeptides. Now, one other reaction of amides that's not really nucleophilic acyl substitution, but I have to mention because we haven't talked about nitriles yet, is the conversion of a primary amide with no alkyl groups on the nitrogen into a nitrile. And we've talked about nitriles as a member of the carboxylic acid derivative class. And the synthesis of nitriles usually involves the cyanide anion. However, we can make a nitrile from a primary amide containing an NH2 group if we realize that an amide is a nitrile containing the elements of water within it, two hydrogens and an oxygen. So if we treat a primary amide like this with a dehydrating agent, something like SOCl2, we can generate a nitrile. And I won't go into the mechanistic details here. All I'll really say is that this can be a convenient functional group interchange reaction and a way to synthesize nitriles, cyano compounds that are difficult to access by other means. For example, if this is an unsaturated, alpha-beta unsaturated amide, this can be a nice way to generate a conjugated nitrile that we couldn't get through, for example, a simple SN2 process with cyanide. So something like acrylonitrile, something like this, could be generated through the corresponding amide.